Hey guys, it's Sierra Patriot here, and I'm just going to do a quick review video on some of my uh, rain gear I have sitting here. Uh, this is just a regular old U.S. Army rain parkas. It's just for rain only. It's not. It doesn't do cold weather or anything. It's kind of like it's just a rain shell, but uh, it has uh, the buttons on the inside of where you can put an insulated liner so you can use it in cold weather. But I noticed uh, some of the newer parkas are coming out. Um, all that's already built in, pretty much. But these ones were just the standard old ones for rain with the option where if you have the, the liner, you can button up the liner on the inside. Now, the liner that I have here would go to a, you know, a field, like a winter, like a field coat or overcoat. I forgot the name of it. It's like an M56 or something field coat. But basically, this would be one of those insulated liners that would go in that giant, you know, overcoat. But you can also uh, put it in these parkas. And they also have a pair of... Uh, um, insulated pants like or leggings that would go inside of these as well and this is just a regular old uh, you know woodland rain poncho you can also use these as half shelters or if you have two of these you can pretty much button them together to make one big type of a-frame shelter um, but you know if you don't have parkas or anything this is kind of this is a cheaper option now, I know parkas are expensive I've seen the pants and jet jackets alone going for like 79 to 80 to 100 dollars little ridiculous but I guess it's because of course the material and how they're made but these ones since these ones were just being you know this is just a rain suit there was no insulation or anything in them it was just pretty much a shell that you would wear over your uniform the, yeah you can see that this one I don't have the uh, insulated leggings just like kinda like this liner I don't have that in here so I only paid I only paid eight dollars for these pair of pants this jacket that I just got I bought off of eBay I paid nineteen dollars it was yeah just the the shell itself, uh, I had an extra liner laying around because I, I got two of the uh, the uh, winter field coats or jackets or whatever they're called. I think they're called the M6, M56 field coat or whatever. I don't know. I'll just correct myself in the description or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I put the liner in it, so now I could use this if it's cold out or whatever and... And I'll, I'll probably end up buying a pair of the, the leggings for the pants as well. And then I have the, the poncho I'll just end up using as a shelter or something. But let's say you don't have the parkas. And like I said, this poncho is a cheaper way. It's just going to stop rain. It's it's big. You put It goes over all of your equipment and it's got a hood on top. It doesn't have any arm, like you know sleeves or anything like that. Pretty much it's just a big square with a hole in the middle with a, a hood. And... Um, yeah, you can pick these up for like 20 bucks online if you can find people that are selling them. I think, I mean, like, I haven't really searched a whole lot on eBay for them because I already have one, but from the people I would see selling them, probably be like surplus stores and stuff, it's like 20 bucks or so. I got this one off of a friend, so I didn't really pay anything. I gave him about like 10 bucks for it, so I got that. And like I said, I got 8 bucks, I got a deal on the pants, and 19 on the jacket wasn't bad. I've seen uh, other ones going for like 20, 30. Just because, and you know, this is just the rain. This isn't insulator or anything. But definitely, um, a pretty good setup if, yeah, for uh, for the weather. So, please uh, rate, like my video, subscribe to me. I'm gonna make a bunch more videos. Uh, I have some more equipment coming in the mail. I got three cases of MREs. Um, I got a new uh, Kevlar helmet and some other stuff. Some other equipment. Uh, probably like some more what canteens pouches things like that a whole bunch of stuff but later in the week this is all going to come in and i'll probably do the unboxing of that